but let's talk about some of the other uh, topics that I wanted to talk about today. So let's talk about Spider-Man No Way Home trailer reaction. Well, I put reaction. I should have said response, to be honest. I meant to say response, so. Um, oh, yeah, Alfred will definitely be dead in Keaton's. Yeah. Um, so anyways, so yesterday, of course, the, um, the, Spider-Man, the Spider-Man No Way Home trailer debuted, you know. And mainly everybody was hyped about it, mainly because of the ending with Alfred Molina. Uh, you know, I kind of was going, yeah, that, that, that was fine. You know, I wasn't, it didn't get me like, oh, you know, I, I'd probably go a little bit more excited if we saw Andrew and Toby, but I can totally understand why they chose not to. And a lot of people were, of course, um, a lot of people were kind of picking it apart. And, you know, there's a lot of breakdown videos and uh, all that. A lot of that stuff was happening. And uh, there were some interesting things, though, that did that were that that I did see on the timeline that was kind of cool when it came to uh, um, certain things that happened. Like for instance, this this was this was an interesting little I don't know might mean nothing and it could just be like a little homage or something like that. But uh, I saw this right here. So this right here, <laughs> variants, variantes, variantes, variantes. So apparently, when you see Tom Holland, Peter Parker, right here, he's wearing a blue shirt. And kind of like the, uh, you know, a gray jacket that has some texture to it. Similar to in Spider-Man 3 when uh, Toby was wearing that. So that's interesting. So people were just saying stuff like that. It's all kinds of stuff. Let's see. Where was I? Here, right here. There's stuff right here. Okay, so apparently, I mean, this is just the power of Marvel. Who the, you know, it's just the way it is. And of course, it's Spider-Man. But yeah, apparently... um, Yesterday, or like earlier today, probably about five or six hours ago, Spider-Man No Way Home already passed the Batman in trailer views on on Twitter. So yeah, so it uh, it blew up on Twitter. I'm trying to I'm kind of curious to see where uh, where it's at right now when it comes to uh, when it comes to views. So I don't know. Oops, where am I at here? Yeah, back to there. So yep. Oops, there's my. Yeah, see, I don't even know what I'm doing right now. No, but uh, apparently it passed up all that stuff, so. Uh, so let's see. Where's, I'm going to check and see where the, the views are right now when it comes to Spider-Man No Way Home. Where is the views at right meow? Because it got a pretty good reaction, that's for sure. Everybody went nuts about it. So currently, let's see, where's it at on? Oh yeah, it's on Sony's page right now. It's well, it's got eleven mil. It's got eleven million views on the Marvel page. What's it like on the Sony page? Sony Entertainment. Where is it at right there? So thirty-six million views on. Thirty-six million views, of course, on the Sony page. So not too shabby. I think people kind of dug it. But like I said, it was kind of, you know, it was, you know, it was fine. Like I said, it was fine. But I'm more excited about the Matrix trailer. <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to lie. Because, I, you know, I, I, I got information of what the Spider-Man No Way Home trailer was going to be like. You know, I got a little bit tidbits here and there. I knew it was just going to be a lot of teasing, teasing, teasing. And then it was just like, all right, show Alfred Molina. Everybody's going to go wild. And everybody did. Everybody reacted to it. Watched some reactions. I always like going down that rabbit hole. Real rejects. All those kind of guys. Uh, the cyber nerds watching those guys. You know, it's always good to go down that rabbit hole when a new big trailer comes out and you see all the reactions. It's always fun. And then, of course, you see all the mashups and everything like that. So pretty good. But, yeah, apparently it did blow up pretty, pretty big. But I think the next trailer, if they end up putting in Toby or Andrew, that thing's gonna, that thing's gonna be even bigger. If it's gonna have like an actual, I mean, this is technically a tease, technically a teaser trailer. Even when you, when you look at it, they're calling it a teaser trailer, which is interesting because it felt like it was a full length trailer. It was like what, tonight or tomorrow? See, oh yeah, but um, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. When it comes to the Matrix, who knows? It's it's already shown, but right now they haven't released it online, but. Now, when it comes to Spider-Man, yeah, like I said, I watched it like one more time. I was, like I said, it didn't really, didn't pull me in fully. I am excited to see the, the different villains that show up, and I'm definitely excited for the movie, but the trailer was just kind of like, okay, cool, there's Alfred Molina, and uh, they de-aged him for sure, and he's got a, you know, a smoky background that he shows up in. I'm like, yeah, you couldn't just have like a little bit of something in the background that's a little better. 
You know, instead of having just that kind of just that shot right there, you could have made it a little, but it was still cool. It was still all right. It's still fine. But, you know, so that's pretty much it when it comes to the reaction or to the response to the Spidey trailer. Breaking records as as, of course, that we all thought it would. So get for Spidey. okay, Petey. All right. 